evening 5:30 we had actually spotted a black panther um, and we had actually informed uh, the guards as well and they did verify there's a black panther in uh, the spot also which we had mentioned and our name was mentioned uh, there april is something when we had uh, been there so april month uh, the date i can't remember the date date and our car number and the year um, when we spotted and our all the names of people who have spotted it was mentioned there so initially when um, i saw as so i was the first person who um, spotted it it was right on the bridge uh, it looked like a wildcat to others but then i was sure it's not a wildcat because it's a huge head and then i said it's not a wildcat uh, and can we just turn on the headlight and see what it is and then we turned on the headlight of the car and suddenly you could see there was a, like a 3 3 1/2 feet uh, tail of it and that is when we realized it's not a wildcat and uh, it just turned the head and vanished in like no time and we could uh, see it properly it was a black panther and uh, that's when we came in and informed the guards so yeah if you're lucky we might some uh, we might find some uh, wild this time as well so here we are at the entrance of bandipur and uh, for bikes you don't have to pay anything uh, you can uh, go uh, only for cars you'll have to pay so we're just waiting for uh, kirtan to come he's just putting up the map because there's a shortcut that we can take on our way so we will take that shortcut so here we enter the legendary bandipur and uh, if you're lucky we'll probably spot some wild so you'll have to keep your eyes open while you're riding in this uh, terrain and then uh, if you're taking the tour they take you inside that and all uh, and uh, here strictly you should not honk you should not be parking your vehicle if you see any wild you should just keep going um, and let, uh, let's uh, respect the forest rules and don't break any rules and uh, we keep riding and look at this beautiful scenery amazing your full plantations like complete forest and then the right in front of you have this mountain view absolutely spectacular mr helmet guy ah enantira new ee drishyavannu nodi ಬಂಡೀಪುರ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ನೋಡಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಬರ್ತಾ ಉಂಟು ಕೇಳಿ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಸೊ ಯಾರೆಲ್ಲ ನಾನು ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳಿರೋ ಮಾತು ಗೊತ್ತಾಗಿದೆ ಅದು ಈಗ ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲಿ ವಾಪಸ್ ಕೀರ್ತನ ಅವರು ರಿಪೀಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೊ ಅದನ್ನು ಈ ಪ್ರದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದಾಗ ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಫಾಲೋ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಹಾಗೆ ಹೋಗುವ ಈಗ ಸೊ ನಾನು ಹೇಳಿದಾಗೆ ಒಮ್ಮೆ ನಾನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಪ್ಯಾಂಥರನ್ನು ನೋಡಿದ್ದೆ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಅದಾದ ಮೇಲೆ ಯಾವತ್ತೂ ನೋಡಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅದಾದ ಮೇಲೆ ಒಂದು ನಾಲ್ಕೈದು ಸತಿ ಬಂದಿದೆ ನಿಗಿ ಬಟ್ ಯಾವತ್ತೂ ನೋಡಲಿಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಬಂಡೀಪುರ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಮುಂದೆ ಹೋದ ಮೇಲೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಒಂದು ಎಲಿಫೆಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ತದೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ನೋಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅದು ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಸಾಕಿರೋ ಎಲಿಫೆಂಟ್ ಕಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಅದು ನಿಮಗೆ ಒಂದು ಎರಡು ಎಲಿಫೆಂಟ್ ನೋಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಿಕ್ತದೆ so what happens is once you cross this uh, bandipur just when you exit there uh, you know sometimes you get to see two elephants which are uh, uh, 
uh, been domesticated by these guys itself and then you know dear 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 where 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 uh, to my left you already passed there yeah there are two deers there yeah yeah two deers sir i'm watching one <laughs> just around to let's uh, not create a traffic jam yeah so normally uh, we look at the deer this time deer is looking at us <laughs> so, yeah. yeah so always keep your eyes open when you're here you know you never know what you spot uh, when and where what you will spot so always better to keep so it's a two lane hoga geech the padwa gaachenda but i could see one guy coming from here opposite lane so uh, if you sure, see okay. one more deer you can see one more deer there so one more deer a couple of them there are many there are many 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 a uh, lot, lot of deers traffic violators here and there yeah and you can see some really good peacocks like you know properly dancing and all and uh, here is the elephant corridor caution elephant zone do not stop you should not be responsible for your attack by elephant check that out so this is the elephant zone for attack okay so one uh, ground rule nu helidre Yeah, wild animal. Not feed them. You just run from there. That's all. Forget feeding. <laughs> no, <just run. laughs> so only this is like in case of monkey and all. Ah ha. Okay. Not feed. Ega, the chances of elephants coming now is very less because there's no water also. So normally you'll find elephants in uh, places where there is water. They come to drink water there. That's normal scenario when you'll find elephants. Uh, but otherwise you will very rarely see them uh, laundering here and there or else they come in a group or uh, that way uh, but um, yeah as far as my experience goes uh, that's what i have seen like the one we single third guard of greenery you to see which is bit surprising the month of april or may this place might have got ट्रेजेंट just before entering this the weather was hot and um, about a kilometer later the weather started becoming very favorable very um, comfortable caution uh, wild animals crossing zone go slow okay these are the places where uh, wild animal cross so you know they uh, mention a lot of places where wild animal come and all of it and strictly very strictly do not loiter in these places do not litter um, uh, any places don't stop for photos see they very clearly mention no photography you should not be stopping your car all it just thousand rupees fine see these are all the people who are coming on the opposite direction so this, this is correct right? yeah no it is correct oh, okay uh, actually so far in the like there was a the deviation junction yeah Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, all this time, whenever I've come, I've never seen so much traffic. This is the first time when I'm seeing there's so much traffic here, so much. Every time I've come here, it's like very, very less traffic. And this Bandipura, this is where you can take the safari. You can go book a safari for yourself, and you know, go for a nice uh, jungle safari with the. Uh, um a gypsy or uh, you can have your own personal na uh, gypsy or you can take a big uh van or something and go in that so those are the ones safari vans bandipur tiger reserve and there are people who stay here for days together just to spot uh, tigers and you can see all the deers they see it so openly calmly they around this place you know, without disturbing anyone and you see there's a lot of deers there as well yeah so uh, photographers come here they kind of spend days together here and then uh, you know also uh, wildlife lovers they come here spend a lot of time here to sight 
uh, tigers I see a lot of monkeys so you really need to have good patience if you want to spot a wildlife in this place and that's the black panther i was talking about uh, so you need to spend a lot of time and patience here you'll have to go multiple trips go in the morning uh, take a look and then if you don't uh, spot anything come back again then go again so you know uh, i know a couple of photographers of mine uh, my friends who spend 10 days 15 days here just to spot wild animals and you will see a lot of deers around deers are very common here you will see a lot of them and uh, you get to see them every now and then so no parking no uh, picnic no photo no littering so yeah that's the rule one when you enter uh, bandipur those are the rules that you need to follow where are the boys so let me go a little slow uh, because uh, the rest of them are a little away so there are a lot of these entries uh, where uh, um, the safari guys take you inside the wild so this is the kind of main road that you travel and you, you know very rarely get to see the wild uh, but then if you go uh, with with the safari guys they'll actually take you deep into the jungle and show you uh, if you're lucky you get to see wild or they'll show you around the place and it's nice they're not supposed to park and look at these people they're trying to park and check out this traffic jam so there's a huge huge traffic jam let me just show you Okay, we'll get to go now. There's a huge traffic jam. Look at that. And uh, yeah, because you are in the motorcycle, it's easy for you to overtake and go ahead. But look at this traffic jam. Huge. So today there's a huge traffic jam uh, ever since we've started. Um, after crossing, uh, um, um, not Mysore, Hunsur. After Hunsur, we've got super traffic across all time there has been traffic okay we need to stop no let's go oh man look at that traffic jam at least for the last one kilometer it has been this way for more than one kilometer and it's just continuing look at this traffic jam look at this traffic jam Let's get a little side now. Oh man, this is too much. That tells you how many people are traveling towards Uti this summer. Everyone is like, it's like the, the destination for every uh, household kind of a thing. Because everybody is traveling towards uh, Uti massive massive traffic jam i've never seen so much traffic jam ever so so far this is the first time ever that i've seen so many cars and uh, rightly mentioned uh, by uh, our homestay guy also that it's completely jam-packed And this just goes on, just goes on. And this is the benefit of having a motorcycle. You make your own road and then keep going. Look at this traffic jam. It's just not ending. Yeah. 
know that we want to go off road but then <laughs> you see what's the current condition here they're just forcing us to go off road now just let's get on the road so it's been more than two kilometers since there has been this traffic jam We're just trying to make ourselves some way and then uh, make our own road and go and not get stuck in this traffic. Because if we stay there, we can get stuck forever. I think there's some checking or something because of which there's so much traffic. Whew. It's been about three kilometers straight, three kilometers straight. A full traffic jam and this just continues. It just continues. never knew people had so much of craze for OT and you know this place can get so packed never knew that okay there is this chicken and that's why all of this so there's this uh, uh, exit check post unless they finish the checking they will not let anybody go and this is the fees that you need to pay to go via this road in Bandipur and I think after Covid people just love traveling when everybody were tired sitting back home for two years and the domestic travel has just boom like anything that's why we witnessed uh, uh, a shortage of rooms as well and you know not able to get proper rooms and then we had to uh, book the room seven kilometers away from where we were uh, um, uh, away from Uti. so all these are the practical problems see now And from there, uh, you have... Ha! Yeah, and the, in this bridge is when I saw the Black Panther back in 2004. And uh, the Panther was just sitting right on the bridge, right in the middle of the bridge. And the minute we turned on the light, and we had parked the car here itself, and the minute we turned on the light, it just vanished in the wild. Wow. Oh, this is unreal. Look at the kind of traffic jam. This is the Madhumalai uh, Tiger Reserve. So, this is the Tamil Nadu territory of it. So, Bandipur is Karnataka territory, and Madhumalai is uh, Tamil Nadu territory of the forest. And uh, for motorcycles, there is no fees. You need not pay anything but uh, for cars you need to pay i'm not too sure what is the price that you need to pay and this is exactly the reason why google was showing that we will take two and a half hours to cover 68 kilometers
So you saw that bridge, right? That we crossed now. Yeah, yeah. That is where I had seen a Black Panther back in 2004. Oh, that is. Huh? Yeah, that, exactly on that bridge. Oh. It was yeah. si sitting on the bridge, and um, we were on a call this. And my friend, um, I, I saw it and I said, uh, look at uh, that other uh, thing. So he turned on the light, and I said, it's a Black Panther. They all thought it was a wild cat. Ah. But then at looking at its uh, head size, right? I said, no, no, it can't be wild cat. Look at the size of its head. And then we turned on the light, high beam, dude, it just stood and immediately everybody knew it was a black panther. It had a tail uh, three, three and a half feet uh, big. And in a split second, it just vanished. The eye is right, you remember the eye of the light? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So and immediately it vanished. We came and reported here and um, uh, in the check post you can see our name. Uh, in 2004, uh, April, uh, we had um, uh, spotted that and all our names. Four, uh, we were five members, all five member names are there. So yeah, so we had a three and a half kilometer uh, stretch of traffic jam, which because of the motorcycle we could uh, just maneuver and come and you know kind of get rid of that uh, traffic uh, jam and we came ahead or else we would have got stuck there forever um, because there's this check post checking and also you need to uh, pay the fees to enter and uh, that way because even in summer you have such blossom red color flower looks absolutely stunning looks like it's like a European country also in the route Utik Bodama Angi or route Irka Wow! And now we are uh, getting onto the guard section. So this is the point that uh, we were talking about. That's the viewpoint. You can go there. 